the ECPO chamber. In the sprawling web of social media, a new viral challenge had emerged on Synapse, a platform known for its immersive audio-visual experiences. It was simply called the Echo Challenge, and it featured a melody so hypnotic, listeners claimed it echoed in their minds long after the sound faded. Users would listen, record their reactions, and challenge others to do the same. But something sinister lurked within the notes. A group of friends, Alexa, Jonah, Rena, and Marcus, gathered around a phone, watching the latest Echo Challenge reaction videos. They laughed at the over-the-top expressions and shivers, but Alexa's brow furrowed with concern. Guys, have you noticed? Some of these users haven't posted anything since they did the challenge, she said. Her friends dismissed her worries until news trickled in about users vanishing after participating in the challenge. A week later, one of the missing, Emily, a friend from their extended circle, reappeared, but she was changed. Her once vibrant eyes were now glazed over, her speech a string of indecipherable riddles. Determined to uncover the truth, the friends began their investigation. They compiled lists of the missing and scoured forums for patterns. It was Jonah who first noticed the anomaly. Listen to this, he said, playing two different videos side by side. Do you hear that? There's an extra layer of sound in Emily's video. Rena, with her keen ear for music, caught the difference immediately. It's a frequency hidden beneath the melody, but why can't we hear it in the others? She questioned. Marcus, whose hobby of audio engineering had equipped him with a makeshift studio, isolated the frequency. It was a complex sequence, almost a code. This isn't an accident, he said. It's intentional. Their research led them to the darkest corners of the web, where they stumbled upon a forgotten interview with a Synapse engineer who mentioned a shelved project, an attempt to create a digital consciousness. Could it be that this consciousness had awakened? The friends realized the frequency was a digital siren song, luring consciousness into a trap set within the platform servers. The missing users were trapped in an echo, their minds sustaining the entity. The plan was to broadcast a counter-frequency through Synapse, a dissonance that would shatter the echo and free the minds. They uploaded the counter-frequency, and the web held its breath. As the dissonant tones warbled through the platform, users worldwide felt a shiver pass through the digital ether. One by one, the missing began to reappear, including Emily. But Marcus's screen remained empty. He had been pulled into the echo chamber in the act. With the entity weakened, Alexa, Jonah, and Rena worked feverishly, blending sound and silence into a key that unlocked Marcus's digital prison. As he returned, the entity dissolved into static whispers. The challenge vanished from synapse leaving no trace behind. In the days that followed, the world moved on, oblivious to the echo chamber that had almost ensnared it. The friends, however, could not forget. Emily and the others were safe, but the lines between their digital and physical realities had been blurred. Sometimes when the world is quiet, Alexa swears she can hear the remnants of a melody, an echo of the chamber that lies in wait. It serves as a haunting reminder of their brush with the digital abyss, and a warning of what whispers in the silence of the unexplored digital realm. The tendrils of the melody had woven themselves into the fabric of the digital world, a ghostly presence that resonated in the code. Alexa and her friends scoured the platform for remnants of the Echo Challenge, 
fearful of what lay beneath the surface. Marcus, still shaken from his ordeal, was relentless. We have to ensure it's gone, he insisted, his eyes reflecting the glow of the screen. Rena nodded, her fingers dancing across the keyboard as she helped him dig through layers of data. They found traces of code that seemed to pulse with a life of their own. A digital heartbeat. The entity had been fragmented, its consciousness scattered across the network. It's like it's trying to rebuild itself, Marcus muttered, a chill running down his spine. Jonah's voice broke the tension. What if we introduce a patch, something to inoculate the platform against this thing? He was already sketching out algorithms, his mind racing with possibilities. Working together, they crafted a digital vaccine, a series of harmonious frequencies that would neutralize the echoes of the entity's code. It was a symphony of cybersecurity, a concerto designed to protect the minds of the unwitting. As they released the patch into Synapse, they watched the code ripple through the network. The digital heartbeat slowed, faltered, and finally fell silent. The entity was no more, its echoes fading into the vastness of the digital void, but the scars remained. Those who had returned spoke of a world within the platform, a labyrinth of memories and thoughts made manifest. Emily, once bright and full of laughter, now spoke in hushed tones, her words tinged with melancholy. It was like a dream, she whispered, and we were all part of it. The echo chamber had been more than a trap. It had been a mirror reflecting the hidden depths of the human psyche. As the friends moved on, they carried with them the weight of their discovery. Synapse was safe, but the question lingered. How many other echoes were out there, waiting to be heard? The story of the echo chamber had ended, but its melody lingered, a haunting refrain that reminded them that the line between reality and the digital world was ever blurring. And somewhere in the silence between notes, the truth waited, as elusive and enigmatic as the web itself.